What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we have a shocking reveal, as it has now been revealed that four division world champion, undisputed super middleweight world champion, superstar Mexican boxer, who is widely acknowledged and recognized as the face of the sport of boxing, in Saul Canelo Alvarez. Saul Canelo Alvarez is 60 wins, two losses, two uh, two draws, 39 big wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 70 inch arm reach. Canelo Alvarez is coming off of a victory uh, this past September, September 30th, where he defeated three time junior middleweight and former undisputed junior middleweight world champion superstar boxer Jamel Ironman Charlo, right? Um, he dropped him in the seventh round, one unanimous decision. With that said, Canelo Alvarez has a mandatory challenger in undefeated two-time WBC super middleweight world champion, Mexican-Ecuadorian superstar boxer, David the Mexican monster Benavidez, who is now 27 wins, no losses, no draws, okay, 24 big wins by way of knockout, 26 years of age, six foot two with a 75-inch arm age. He is the World Boxing Council mandatory challenger, better known as the WBC, okay, according to President Mauricio Suleiman and boarded 32 members. He won the WBC title, okay, and he lost it due to recreational use outside the sport of boxing where he was suspended and stripped of his title. He regained the title by beating Anthony Durrell, who picked up the WBC title in a vacant showdown. He beat and stopped Anthony Durrell, picked up the title again. Then while we was dealing with a global pandemic, David Benavidez was one of the first fights that come back to the sport of boxing with no fans in attendance. And he missed weight as there was no gyms open, uh, no businesses open. We was going through a trying time uh, and globally. And he uh, was stripped of his WBC title again, to which Canelo Alvarez immediately petitioned to fight for the vacant WBC title against his sparring partner, Avni Yildirim. That was declined. He ended up fighting the WBA uh, super middleweight undefeated at the time, British superstar boxer, Kano Smith, for the WBA title and the vacant WBC title. He beat Kano Smith, became the unified champion. He then unified the belts against uh, Billy Joe Saunders, two-division world champion, British superstar boxer. He stopped him, and then he went for undisputed and under a calendar year and beat and stopped Caleb uh, Plant for undisputed, right? So with that said, De David Benavidez has been in line to receive an opportunity to regain his title. He made a mistake the first time and they stripped him. Okay, the second time he missed weight, they stripped him. It was dealing with a global pandemic, but that's the rules. Now, with that said, David Benavidez is in line. He fought in March, March 25th against Caleb Plant. The winner was supposed to be the mandatory challenger for uh, Canelo Alvarez. He beats Caleb Plant, right? They allowed Canelo Alvarez to fight Jamel Charlo, who leapfrogged him. Moved up in two, two weight classes, leapfrogged David Benavidez, and fought Canelo Alvarez. Undisputed versus undisputed. Cool. They allowed that. Now David Benavidez, he fights Demetrius uh, Andre, two-division world champion, undefeated. Stops him. Now he's supposed to receive his opportunity, right? Wrong. Canelo Alvarez, according to reports and according to team, this fighter's team that he's choosing to fight May 4th, Cinco de Mayo weekend, as it said that Canelo Alvarez is choosing to fight and reached out to, get this, former WBO, junior middleweight world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, Jaime Munguia who is 42 wins, no losses, no draw, 33 wins by way of knockout, 27 years of age, 6 feet tall, with a 73-inch arm reach. So he reached out to Jaime Munguia to fight Jaime Munguia in, in May. Okay, so May 4th, he's going to fight Jaime Munguia. Should Jaime Munguia win his fight January 27th against a former foe of Canelo Alvarez and John Ryder, who is 32 wins, 6 losses, no draws. So Jaime Munguia is going to fight John Ryder. Jaime Munguia just came out, uh, and he says that he's already in negotiations with Canelo Alvarez for the May 4th showdown, and he wanted to make it clear. I did not seek out Canelo Alvarez. 
he sought he sought me out okay he contacted us and my team and should i be victorious it's it's automatic that i'm going to fight canelo alvarez may 4th single de mayo weekend right now again i have no problem with that single de mayo weekend two mexican fighters right uh and jaime Munguia was clearing up the reports because remember canelo alvarez is on record saying that he would never fight another mexican fighter he didn't have no interest because he represents mexico and the culture and then he said but if you put a fight in front of me i'll fight him so jaime Munguia was clearing up he's from tijuana mexico and he stated that Canelo Alvarez reached out to them. They are seeking out them, right? Which is odd because Canelo Alvarez is with the PBC, Premier Boxing Champion Founder Advisor Al Heyman, who just recently signed a new deal with Amazon and Amazon Prime after Showtime decided to get out the business of the sport of boxing after 37 years. But Canelo Alvarez had already previously signed a three-fight deal with the PBC. He satisfied one, which was Jamel Charles in September. He still has two fights, which is May and September. Jaime Munguia is with Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy Promotions, and DAZN. So he's reaching out to make a fight happen with Jaime Munguia to force the two networks to come together to stage a fight. Jaime Munguia's had one fight at 168. This will be his second fight uh, against John Ryder. And he fought against Sergei Dervianchenko, who was dropping some real hammers on Jaime Munguia. And he was on the verge of losing, but he dropped De Sergei Dervianchenko. And that was the difference in the fight. He won a unanimous decision. That should have been a difference, but nonetheless. So with that said, Canelo Alvarez is seeking out Jaime Munguia for a fight. Again, big fight, entertaining fight. Jaime Munguia comes forward. He's aggressive. He's Mexican-born fighter. Understand. But why is he seeking out to do a crossover deal with Jaime Munguia when David Benavidez himself is with the PBC and Al Heyman as well. Easy fight to be made. Right? So now they're saying that Canelo Alvarez is focused on David is focused on David Benavidez in September. Which is unnecessary. He should just go ahead and be focused on David Benavidez right now. What is he waiting for? Why is he choosing Jaime Munguia? Now he's forcing Al Heyman to do a deal with them. And it's being said that Showtime still owns the rights to Canelo Alvarez, right? Which means Showtime Network is paying the rights to Canelo Alvarez. And Canelo Alvarez could still have a Showtime fight in May as they have the rights. They could still air the fight. I don't know how that's going to work out. But I do know this is uh, clearly high, uh, Canelo Alvarez not wanting to compete against the absolute best. Or are they just saving David Benavidez for last? And they're just trying to maximize on Canelo Alvarez's uh, deal to assure that he gets to the third fight. Because there's a strong possibility that he fights David Benavidez, he can lose to David Benavidez in his next fight. So they want to... But again, if he loses to David Benavidez, I'm sure there'll be a rematch clause. Well, there'll still be a third fight that's worth putting on for Canelo Alvarez and... David Benavidez. But nonetheless, this is going to be an interesting fight. But Jaime Munguia is not tested. Okay? Uh, so John Ryder is 32 wins, 6 losses, no draw, 18 wins by way of knockout. 35 years of age, 5'9", with a 72-inch arm range. Canelo Alvarez beat him, unanimous decision, dropped him. So they're trying to set up this fight. Okay? Uh, but you just look at Jaime Munguia's resume, Okay? He did beat Sergei Derenchenko, but again, hard for a fight. And he was way past it. Uh, he did beat Gabe Rosado, Gary o Spike O'Sullivan. Uh, but he he has just hasn't been tested. Toriano Johnson, right? He just hasn't been tested. He hasn't fought the, the upper echelon of the fighters. So once again, he, Canelo Alvarez apparently is petitioning the WBC to allow him to fight Jaime Munguia. May 4th, as Jaime Munguia said that Canelo Alvarez and his team has reached out to him. He didn't reach out to them. He wanted to make that abundantly clear. They are seeking me out. I did not seek them out, according to Jaime Munguia. Interesting, isn't it? Uh, so this is, a, again, another winnable fight for Canelo Alvarez uh, as he strategically is choosing and maneuvering around 
uh, the sport of boxing, point blank and period. That's exactly what he's doing at this point in time. Uh, it's actually what he's been doing uh, for quite some time, right? He's strategically maneuvering his way around the sport of boxing, period. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So let's see how this all unfolds and plays out moving forward. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.